Sagittarius, Sagittarius, A, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, O, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, A, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Ah, oh, what's up, Saggy babies? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Sag between the first and the fifteenth of February? Hmm. Hmm. y'all, y'all, are y'all trying to control some shit? Y'all in y'all head about some shit that you cannot control? Let God do God's job. <laughs> hey boo, hey, this is the first time to my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is the first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. They cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube that can resonate with you better. Alright? And if don't love you no less. Love you long time. All right. To all of my subscribers, to the new subscribers, welcome to the family. Y'all, we're a little dysfunctional. We don't fight. We don't fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. All right. But we do love. We cuss. All right. We grow. We share. We laugh. We evolve. We cry sometimes too here, you know, but that's what family do. You understand? To my returning subscribers, family, we made it. You, do you understand? Did you hear me? For the people, in, did you hear me in the back? Y'all, we made it. Yes. Y'all better claim and receive and open your arms for them blessings. Um, You guys, this is Baby Joker. He's a Sagittarius as well. So it's going to be featuring uh, Saggy Baby Joker. Let's pray that he be good. All right. You guys. Um, this is a general. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If you need a personal reading, I'm currently only taking emergency readings up until the 3rd of February. All right. So if you are needing a reading, um, it's emergency. So it will be the same day within a, with a max of two hours of a wait. You guys get with me and I got you. All right. Um, take what resonates, leaves the rest. Um, on meditating on your energy, first and foremost, um, few things happen, but I'm going to start with the intuitive messages. Okay. So for my Saggy babies, the intuitive messages that I received for you all was, second, stubbornness, messages and dreams, reflecting, self-worth, just do it, spirit like, go Nike style, baby, the talk, and literally the talk, insomnia, Manipulation, renewals, releasing, forgiveness, artistry, collaboration, divine timing, awakening, new love, and fear of failure. All right. And so, um, for who the intuitive for, for those of you who the intuitive messages uh, did resonate with, the divine is all up in the sauce. Do you understand? So you need not worry your head. You know, you def, you guys need to really, really, truly protect your energy during this time. It's pretty intense. I do believe that Jupiter is back home for you all, so it should be a, a bit of a. But it all it, it it all has to do with the seeds that we've already planted. All right, so. You can't beat no damn dead horse to make him walk again, baby. You just got to walk your damn self until you find another damn horse. All right? So just don't cry over spilled milk, you guys. And don't beat yourself up. All right? So the message that uh, this comes from the, I believe it's the Doreen Virtue Crystal Oracle deck or Crystal Angels deck. All right? But the message that you guys received was Aquamarine. Sagittarius. Hold on, y'all. It's a badass glare up in here. I know. I ain't. I ain't a rich bitch yet. I'm working on it. So, you know, I'm going to have to give me some old devices, techie shit. Divine life purpose. Trust the signs and your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. Okay? And I feel like you guys are trying to hold on to things that are no longer meant to be held on to. I definitely feel like some of you guys are dealing with controlling as um, surroundings, people, places, things that... Uh, really no longer serve you, no longer serve your highest good. A lot of you guys are really focused on your life purpose, what it is that your heart sings for, and there's nothing wrong with that, baby. I really, 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 I really commend you all for that. And also, the decision-making process, all right? So, Sagis, since I'm strongly feeling and Spirit is letting me know that you guys <laughs> really are having a hard time with making a decision, it's kind of like a, they're showing me like a seesaw, okay? So, some of y'all could be dealing with, um, uh, with Libra, with like signs that have to do with du duality. This could be Libra, this could be Gemini, uh, this could be Pisces, but 
something about the two and something about the seesaw, the like the mirroring effect, okay, as well as like the scales, all right. So I, it confused the hell out of me. So I had to make my own decision. And since we filmed the, you know, I I had to decide. I, I, I decided, okay, I'm gonna come to Saggy and help, ask them to help me, you know, with making my damn decision on what I should ask Saggy about their damn decision. So you guys, the decisions that I had to make was, and I'm gonna need your help with was. Which belt y'all want first? Cause I I'm not I'm not doing this in 2009. I'm a, I told y'all I'm gonna get the belt, okay? So which belt would you prefer? Cause I'm gonna get you. It's ridiculous. You know better. You are philosophical. You are the alchemist. You are the architect. You have to make a decision. Because you're gonna make a decision on one of these belts, all right? I couldn't make a decision on a damn belt or a bottle, so bear with me, Sag. Let's rock, all right? What messages do, <laughs> all right, Spirit, what messages do you have for the sign of Sagittarius from the 1st to the 15th of February, 2019, in love? Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Sagittarius for the first half of February. All right. messages to you okay they wanted to fall I'm gonna let it all right so a lot of you guys during this time will be keeping your feelings to yourself all right for some of you all you have new love but there's also a fear of vulnerability a fear of really opening up emotionally all right it's easy for some of you guys are very passionate about what it is that you want and how it is that you want to go about doing it but you're going it's going to require for you guys to actually um have those have the proper conversations, all right? There is new love here, possibly with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius on the table. Strong emphasis on Leo or someone who you have children with. This could involve a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well, but this also has to do with a divine partnership as well. But I feel like someone's trying to hold on to something in hopes for a new, okay? Um, this could also have to do with an Aries person as well, but I definitely feel like there's there there's going to be a newness around relationships uh, for the first half of February for you all, but it's going to require for someone to be vulnerable and really, really express, you know, what it is that they want and, you know, what they deserve, you know. I definitely feel like some of you guys are looking at someone as this Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands could be looking at you as the Emperor, but I definitely feel like um, this could, again, this could be someone who you have children with. There's some hidden information though that is preventing this new start and I definitely feel that that's going to be coming to the surface during the 1st to the 15th of February. Some of you guys are going to be traveling to communicate with someone, possibly again, um, a fire sign, Aries Leo Sass. There is a lot of fire in this reading. Um, there's also strong emphasis of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but I, sh I truly feel like Sad, you're wanting something. You've been manifesting some things as well. Some of y'all may have been manifesting things around the moon cycles, but there's a whole lot of transformative energy here, and it requires movement, momentum, okay? You actually making the move, getting out of your head, and actually getting on your damn feet and pushing forward, and actually having those, having the right conversations, having, you know, having clarity and giving, receiving and giving clarity to situations that that's going to move forward or that you're going to move away from and still get what it is that your heart desires, okay? Spirit says that your seeds, your fruits that you've planted has not gone unnoticed, baby. It's time for them to ripe. And, you know, some of you all, it's time to move. Um, for some of you all, there will be fast moving um, communication possibly coming to or from an Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, or a Taurus person, all right? Or things could actually be moving forward for you after closing out. Moving fast for you um, with the fixed energy after you after you close one chapter of your life. So you're creating new chapters right now, Sagi babies. Some of you all, you're going into a new cycle and you're going passionately, fiercely. Ain't no, ain't nothing. No person, place, or thing can stand in your damn way because you know that you deserve this. I've done every damn thing that I could possibly do. I've cut people off. I've chose to be true to myself. For some of you all, it's having to do with your divine life purpose. Some of you guys are light workers, are healers, and I feel like you're holding on to lower vibrational things, possibly due to uh, finances, okay? 
But finances for this month definitely looks good, Sag. I feel that some of you guys, if you move spirit is saying, if you actually choose to close chapters in your life and you're having to move forward, don't worry. Don't be fixed in your ways, afraid of what may happen or um, what could possibly go wrong if you can't control the situation. There's a need to focus. So some of y'all may just be focused on your damn money. OK, you're moving away from things and moving away from uh, people who just really want to come in and play with your time. Some of y'all may have a fire sign in your energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you love this person. There is a lot of love here. There's a lot of passion here for this person. And there can be a uh, victory here with this person and a moving forward. But someone has to be willing to be vulnerable and open up emotionally, because I definitely feel like there's some things that has gone unsaid, um, untalked about. All right. And I feel sad you either you or this other person is really, really, really in your damn head about it. If you're dealing with an air sign there's the uh, gemini libra aquarius there's clarity that's needed or some type of communication um somebody really wants to know their worth they want to know that someone's really willing to put in the effort needed to move this shit forward and there's nothing wrong with that i definitely feel like for some of you all someone in your energy has been very stagnant kind of painting pictures or illusions um to in order to not close out cycles you know somebody's trying to give that that false hope of illusionment some of you all are really kind of in your head on if you want to continue a cycle with an air sign or if you just want to close the door. Because I feel like even though you want this stable offer and you know that you can bring that to the damn table, this person is just somewhat fixing their energies and they choose to just hold on to the sexual aspect of a relationship other than what the fuck we going to do when we get out of bed. Do I even like you when we get up? I mean, for real, for real. There is love here. Some of you guys are dealing with someone um, who is very intuitive. Either you or this other person could, but both of y'all look to be very intuitive, all right? You and this other person could also have some type of telepathic connection, okay? And some of you guys definitely have to choose between um, either a water or a fire sign <clears throat> or an air and a fire sign. But there is going to be some type of transformation in a relationship. You have everything that you need, but I feel like it lacks confidence or you or the other person is lacking confidence and it has to do with the underlying issues that just really haven't been dealt with that's keeping situations stagnant okay some of you all could definitely be dealing with the gemini here with this lover's card or a twin flame connection this person could have uh cut you off but there will be you or you could cut this person off but there will be a reconciliation a stable offer that will be made during this time for some of you all some y'all could actually be hearing from this person around the second week of february if, if it haven't happened already Ready? It could actually be something about the 2nd of February. Y'all come in and let me know. But I definitely feel like there's a relationship. Some of y'all are in love with the Pisces person, okay? For some of you all, it's Cancer or Scorpio. But I definitely feel like intuitively... Um, Intuitively, this person already knows how you feel, but this person could actually be waiting for you to actually come forward and express your love truly, not in a lighthearted way, like a childish, playful way, but a serious conversation. In order to, you know, bring things together for another person to be wanting to put in their work and offer a solid commitment. For some of you all, there's divine time. And I feel like if you or this other person have not been speaking to each other, there's a faded meeting that could occur um, between the 1st and the 15th of February. And I feel like for some of you, you probably already seen it in your dreams. You could have um, dreamt this before. For some of you all, th those of you who who are musicians or you do some type of music you write music i'm also seeing painting i see paintbrushes i'm also seeing um someone plays the what is that um oh it's a beautiful and i can't think of the name of it it's the long strings um Oh, the y'all know. Look at how my hands going. <laughs> Context clues. What is what 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 dog? Is, is it the? It's not the harp. Is it the harp? Something like that. You know, I sing. I don't play any instruments, but I'ma sing you to death. I'll sing you, sing you, sad you, baby. I'll sing you. So you know, so that's my part. You gotta know your part. All right. So some of you all. You're moving towards knowing your damn part, you know, and people who don't support people who don't support the uh, support the the mission. You know, it's OK to want to do better. It's OK to want better. It's OK to grow. And for people who don't see that for you, why are you why do you even have them in your energy? Don't allow dream killers to project their fears on you. And their insecurities on you to make you question yourself, your love, your worth. Your confidence, if I can have this conversation, if I can open up to this person, if it's safe. Some of you guys are really needing to release the way that you look 
at things and people and situations from the past because you have to understand people change every day. You change. Are you the same person who you was last year at this time? Think about it. Hell, do you even look at some of the people who was in your life last year at this time the same currently? Think about it. All right? So some of you guys could also be dealing with a Capricorn towards Virgo. I feel that there is love for this person. And some of you all, you manifested this person. This person has been manifesting you. But I feel like there's also this sense of an ego death that needs to happen. Somebody needs to put the damn pride aside and actually pick up the unconditional love factor and understand that love is selfless. It's not one-sided. This is a this is a two-sided affair unless it's a damn uh, a situationship. Now, if that's the case, why do we why why does this person even have any type of entitlement to your feelings in your life? It should be what it is and understood at the door if that's the case. Ooh, Sash, some of y'all need to hit this bottle. Oh, goodness. Y'all, get out your head. You already know what to do. You can't fix everybody. You can only <clears throat> you can only respond according to your highest good and make decisions accordingly. But some of you all are dealing with another fire sign, and I feel like this relationship could really flourish. For some of you all, it's water. A little bit of everybody is here. Only I'm going to be honest with you. Only thing I don't see looking very, very, very great right now is if you're dealing with an air sign, this person is completely like in their fucking head. Are they in their head so much that they have active conversations with themselves and they self say, hmm? And you be thinking this person fucking talking to you, but they talking to themselves, they're a little nuts. And they have to do with their own ego that needs to be checked at the damn door. If you can't get left, I mean, if you can't get right, your ass can get left. Period. Point blank. Period. All right, so let's clarify some of this major arcana. Why is the hangman here? Why is my Sagittarius or this other person feeling stuck in a situation? Yeah, due to the fact that someone low key has abandonment issues. Someone has this fear of rejection. They don't want to be rejected. They don't want to be, you know, pushed aside. They don't want to be made. Uh, they don't want to be made to be felt like an option. Why is the sun card here? Why is the sun card here? Some of y'all could also be finding out that um. Some of y'all could also be having a catalytic situation occur around children. Okay, you could have cut someone off who you really love, who you have children with, and you're possibly going through a separation right now. It could have gone through a separation in the month of January, and you're feeling a bit different about a situation. You really wanted to express your love, really, you know, let this person know. Have a conversation from the heart, all right? Some of y'all are having conversations from the heart. This could have to do with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a Leo. The signs that I have here are strong. Is Gemini, um, Libra, Leo, Aries, um, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces are here individually. I have Virgo here. I have a um, I have Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Taurus here, and I have a whole lot of passion, a whole lot of love, but not a whole lot of talking whole lot of mental energy not talking why is the magician here yeah some of you all you're trying to transform a third party situation move things forward actually come to some type of um resolution especially if it's involving children yeah moving forward okay moving on moving forward some of you guys are moving towards an aries or a virgo person okay i definitely feel like there is a sense of resistance toward it either from you or this other person or you're afraid that this person is going to reject you this person is going to not be open to having the conversation and i feel like for some of you all either you or this other person has truly 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 been in your head you know, been in their heads some of you all you could some y'all have a telepathic connection to somebody and i feel like you want this person to talk here in the 3d on the surface however if you can astro travel and go have open communication open dialogue if you can bring that same damn energy here all right come down from jupiter and bring that same energy here and not be fearful you know to have those conversations or this could be the other person in your energy but that energy is very strong why is the high priestess here yes yeah. Intuitively, I feel like this could definitely be someone who you've uh, dealt with in the past. For some of you all, this is someone new, and this is a vibration that's preventing something new from getting off the ground. But for some, most of you all, this has to do with the family dynamic, and your other half could definitely be a high priestess. This person could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or someone who is just extremely intuitive. I feel like you know that this person knows that you're coming, or this person or you know that this person wants to come and have that conversation, that dialogue, and someone is nervous. 
Sag, I feel like where you're normally confident, you're a bit nervous. This person makes you question yourself, but you make this person question themselves. But they definitely see a soulmate relationship. Um, for some of you all, you're having to choose between a divine partnership, a twin flame union, and a soulmate. A soulmate from the past or someone from someone new. For some of you all, and for some of you all, it's choosing between someone um, that you have a child with from the past and a partnership that just really can't get off the ground due to someone's ego. You can't buy nothing with ego and pride. Your unconditional love is what actually measures the heart. Remember that, baby. Why is the world here? Yeah. If you choose to walk away, if you guys can see, and I do see success, you can successfully move away to materialize what it is that you're trying to start new, which is a new beginning, new passion beginning. I have a hell, I have a king and a queen here on the board, right? But after truth and clarity is had, after truth and clarity is had, that transformative energy is the is the conversation, the talk, right? Nothing to fear, but fear itself. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here with this damn Ace of Swords and a Knight of Rose? Yeah, there is a possibility to move away from past, from the past. All right, and I do see a reconciliation happening, but I pray that someone actually takes that opportunity to not be prideful, but to be open and be vulnerable. And if 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 if, if forgive, because forgiveness is definitely needed here in order for things to transform and become something extremely beautiful. But there's also internal conflict. Doubts, fears, illusions of what may happen. Quit running in your damn head what could happen over and over again. Because what if it does not? I definitely feel like someone has gone through an awakening, some some form of a transformation, and either you or this other person are not who you were. This person that you're uh, wanting to reconcile with, for some of you all, um, that is the wild card aspect of it. I feel like some of you guys are overthinking based on an illusion in your head that you've painted. Uh, towards this person or this could be happening to you however what you don't know is that this person is viewing you with love they look at you um as a soulmate and i definitely see that there is lessons and lessons here but it's how um someone you or the other person chooses to perceive it but if we can just put the damn pride down and just focus on the love factor and how this person makes you feel that damn warmth and butterflies in your damn belly that you happen to get when you think of the, the thought of this person and i feel like the damn fear anxiety built this own damn entity that is blocking you from really seeing your eyes on a, your eyes up towards your prize no more it's time to move babies because if i don't see movement from the first to the 15th i'm gonna get the damn bill all right i chose this one just in case you didn't make no choice damn sandies love y'all babies this is what i have for you all between the first and the 15th all right please uh comment y'all let me know how it resonates you all and i love you very much i send you much much peace many blessings much success you guys and a whole lot of healing energy because there is definitely it's a transformative time you all you're not afraid to put in the work jupiter is gonna bless you y'all jupiterians y'all look is that a word <laughs> Because, you know, I'm a fucking Martian. So, y'all Jupiterians, y'all let me know if this resonates. Y'all have nothing but love for you all, and I wish you nothing but the best. If you need a personal, again, I'm only doing emergencies, but that information will be in the description. And I see y'all again, me and Jane. I mean, Jane Weary. Look at my ass. Put the bottle down, bitch. Mid-February. I love y'all, babies. Bye, Saggy Boos.